very, very fascinating forest herb that is available over the counters. Uh, it's safe, it's effective, it's uh, essentially uh, very inexpensive. Very few people know about it. There are virtually zero side effects, and it's been found to be 10,000 times more effective against cancer than virtually any chemotherapy out there. So we're going to talk about that and about the studies regarding that particular rainforest herb. But before we do that, uh, we've got some action to take, do we not? Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, this, you know, um, DHEA um, is a dietary supplement, um, and I've been practicing this in the car on the way over here, um, dehydroepi <laughs> and so... Um, you know, for short, we just call it DHEA. Right. Um, it is um, a dietary supplement. It kind of acts as um, a steroid prohormone in the mm -hmm. body. Yep. It, it, what happens is that as we age, um, DHEA levels tend to go down. Um, so DHEA is uh, manufactured uh, from cholesterol. Mm -hmm. So as your cholesterol metabolism starts to go down, your DHEA production goes down as well. Um, and, the, and that's for people to, um, I think, uh, comprehend that you, the, the whole concept that cholesterol is really important. Yeah. Uh, cholesterol isn't just this negative agent that creates problems with heart disease. Right. Uh, cholesterol has a number of very important, important functions in the human body. And as you just point out, one of them is to actually be the uh, first door opener to virtually every hormone in the body. Right. But, you know, what... Um, DHEA in the process in the body is that um, cholesterol is metabolized into pregnenolone, mm -hmm. then it's turned into um, DHEA, and then from that we make all of our um, sex hormones, right. progesterone, um, endosterone, um, testosterone, and estrogen. So, you know, DHEA is really, really important to, you know, have healthy levels of all of those hormones in your body, and then also, um, you know, like neurotransmitter type hormones like serotonin precursors and et cetera. And it's extremely important. Uh, and as you point out, as we age, we produce less of it. Right. Therefore, there are literally hundreds of thousands of people out there that have been taking DHEA as a food supplement from right. their health food stores to help assist them in their hormone production, right. uh, to help them in so many ways, concentration, right. memory, yeah. um, energy, retaining muscle mass. Retaining muscle mass. Yeah. There's so many important vital functions of DHEA. Yeah. And you know it must be effective because obviously with this political ploy, <laughs> you know that the pharmaceutical industry must be nervous about the fact that DHEA has been as effective as it has because they're trying to basically take it away from people. Yeah, so there's legislation in, in um, uh, Congress right now. Um, the, the bill is called S-762 and S2470, mm -hmm. and um, this legislation is to ban the over-the-counter sale of DHEA, um, restrict it to minors, and then a future ban on over-the-counter sales for DHEA. Um, do we know the sen the S, of course, stands for Senate. Do we know the senators that have uh, sponsored this bill? I mean, I would like to find out who they are. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab that information for you. And we, <laughs> we, we really need to get that because everybody out there needs to know who it is that's yeah. trying to take your, your freedom of uh, nutritional supplement access away from you. Yeah, and, you know, unfortunately, I think most of them are, are Democratic senators. Um, too. So we have been really lucky that a lot of Republican senators have stood by our side. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so the DHEA, the, the bill, how the bill got to Congress was um, as a byproduct of um, the steroid hormone scandal in sports, in baseball. So when they banned a certain class of those steroid hormones, mm -hmm. that then gave them the ability to build this legislation off of that and what they're trying to Piggyback. do Piggyback. Yeah, exactly. They're trying to call DHEA a pro-hormone. It is not an anabolic steroid. Exactly. So that's what they're trying to do. And so we have so much scientific data that shows the way that it's metabolized that in no way could it be used as an anabolic steroid. Um, so it's really important that we keep our eye on the science. Well, and so many people with Alzheimer's, <clears throat> cancer, and obesity problems uh, have benefited from DHEA. Oh, it's just yeah. it's tragic that they're trying to just mass it all together as an anabolic steroid and try to collect some negative press for it and yeah. to take it away from those people who so desperately need it. And this is what we call slippery slope legislation. And 
it, it's banning a class or a category of compounds called what they're trying to call anabolic steroids. And you know, since it's not directly an anabolic steroid, it's more um, you know, just like a, a, a hormone supporter. Right. Um, it does so through you know cholesterol synthesis and then you know the adrenal cortex. Um, there's so many other dietary supplements that could be wrapped up into this bill. So 5-HTP, uh, s adenosylmethionine, SAMe, um, if melatonin, it, you know what I mean. So. DHEA. Yeah, what's going to happen? But what, what happens every so often is the pharmaceutical industry finds a few senators. Keep something in mind. There are 3,000 full-time employed mm -hmm. um, lobbyists mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. right now that are uh, actively lobbying against supplement access such as DHEA. Right. And they continually come up with new campaigns to try to see if they can't underhandedly remove access of certain supplements. Right. And they find senators, of course, and they find various uh, members of Congress from time to time uh, who will basically support that effort right. and who are obviously being supported in some way, shape, or form by the pharmaceutical industry. And the bottom line of it is it's a power play. It is, you know, and it's also about, you know, their personal freedom to um, take charge of your own health care. You know, and this is restricting your access to a dietary supplement that gives you the ability to do that. Yeah, and they wrap it up in this blanket of, uh, of being concerned about our well-being. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so good that they're taking care of me. I don't know how you feel about that. Category. Yeah, well, it's really funny. My friend's birthday was this weekend, and I was at CVS and um, looking at birthday cards. And you know the show The Office? Mm -hmm. And it was a birthday card, and you opened it, and it was the main character. And... It, it was a recording of him saying that the best way to deal with people is to tell them something opposite of what you really are doing. So reverse psychology. And they, so he goes into this explanation. It's just it's just like that. It's you classic. Know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely like true. That. So what, what can we all do about this? Who should we contact? Uh, what are the websites we should go to? What, what is our recourse sitting at home right now fuming over the fact that yet again the pharmaceutical industry is trying to pull another power play and see if they can't uh, disturb our freedom of access to health food supplements. What do we do? Well, we, we've made it really easy. Um, there is a website called naturalproductsassociation.org, mm -hmm. and you can go on there, and this bill is actually posted right on the website. And you click on a link, and then you find your state, and it has your senators and congressmen listed there, and then it opens up um, a window where you can type a letter right there and, and you can send them right from this website. So, you know, that's all they have to do is go to naturalproductsassociation.org. Naturalproductsassociation.org. Yeah. So copy that down, folks, and take action tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and for those folks who uh, may not have access to a laptop or a PC, yeah. is there an 800 number? Is there some way they can call somebody? Or Yeah, you can always... Um, you know, call your local senator's office mm -hmm. and just say, you know, I would like to, you know, express my opinion on Senate Bill 762 and Senate Bill 2470. S762 and S2470. So, folks, uh, if you're interested in uh, maintaining your freedom of access to uh, safe, helpful, important food supplements over the counter at your natural health food store, and uh, want to yet again voice your power and your opinion over the pharmaceutical power ploy, uh, which is, eh, this is kind of a rite of passage at this point. I mean, over the past, <laughs> I mean, really, this is sort of like, oh, here they come again. It's sort yeah. of like swatting flies in the spring. You know? Yeah, yeah. But remember when last time we had um, an action like this, it was, um, I can't remember what bill it was, but in <laughs> when... When it came down and it was in favor of the Natural Products Association, remember you had found out that they had had the most comments that they had ever had on a piece of legislation. Well, actually, to be specific about that, I know for a fact that uh, it was reported in Washington, D.C., that when this issue came up, right. that they received more mail in one week yeah. than they did the entire Vietnam War. Exactly. So, yeah. um, you know, we're out there. Yeah. Uh, and I think most folks, when they hear uh, at a grassroots level such as this, yeah. that their uh, liberties are being threatened or challenged by political power plays such as this, um, they get active. 
And what's so exciting about you know living in America is that every single person out there has um, the opportunity and the right to comment on legislation, mm -hmm. so that we can start writing the bills and that we want to live by. Absolutely. And hey, you out there in Radio Land, this is about you. Yeah. <laughs> and it really is. It's about each and every one of us. Yeah. I know sometimes people get a little bit overwhelmed and they sort of feel, oh, geez, you know, this is bigger than me and I, I have no access to, to Washington and to uh, all of these political movements and all of these uh, uh, very confusing and confounding issues. It's bigger, it's more complex, it's more confusing than I can manage. You really can't take that approach. If you have an interest in, in maintaining your liberties and really have any degree of belief or uh, have had positive experiences uh, and really are um, very powerfully behind the, the freedom to be able to take care of yourself, and if it's important for you to be self-empowered and not just to be uh, cared for by very shady right. uh, uh, bureaucracies out there, then, then I think it's really in, it's incumbent on you to get involved and to right. maintain some degree of voice in, in matters such as this. Yeah, and you know, it's just like this. I mean, you know, for every American, you know, the thing that the Constitution granted every single one of us is that in Congress, in Senate, there's a chair there with your name on it. You know, there's a chair there that says Catherine Foley. There's a chair there that says Mark Mancola. And just by being an American citizen, that chair is yours, and you can go take it anytime. And don't anybody sit in that chair. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> you know, so, and that's, you know, go for it. Especially if you're taking handouts from the pharmaceutical industry. <laughs> Stay out of my chair, you. <laughs> and that's what I'm going to say, is that if you don't take your chair, if you don't take your spot, a corporate lobbyist will say, hey, do you mind if I sit down for a second? <laughs> or, 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 do you really think that they'll politely ask you? <laughs> <laughs> they'll be like, no, 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 it's not How yours. about this? No, I'm sorry. It's yours is down like, the street. Yeah, it's going to be kind of like the three bears. We go to Washington, we're going to find a whole bunch of people already sitting there. You yeah, know? it's true. And that's what's happening right now. That's our government right now is so, that, you know, the people have disappeared from the government that they belong to. So S762, that's Senate, or S762, and S2470. And uh, simple enough, if you've got uh, a laptop or if you've got a PC at home, naturalproductsassociation.org, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, take action. That's all we can say. We hope you do. And uh, if you want to protect your access to DHEA, and again, as Catherine was very clear to point out, if you lose this one, you're going to lose a whole bunch of ensuing battles with melatonin. Those of you people out there who uh, have found great success falling asleep mm -hmm. and um, helping your insomnia condition with things like melatonin. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I think these are the kind of things that are going to go down next. If yeah. you lose access to DHEA, then there's a whole bunch of similar uh, su supplements that uh, are going to go down with this, with this particular supplement. Yeah, you don't believe it's going to happen? Try it, Go to Canada and try to buy SAMe. You can't. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, uh, go to Europe and try to buy vitamin E right now. Can't do it. Can't do it. Need a prescription to buy vitamin E. So you know what? They don't have radio programs like this in Europe. <laughs> you know, this is kind of like radio-free Europe here in the U.S. of A. So get involved, folks. So we would be pirate radio. Okay? We would be pirate radio, absolutely. <laughs> Ahoy, mates. <laughs> Catherine Foley from Jar of Formulas, thank you. Always enlightening, always uh, very invigorating. Great thank to you. have you here. And next week, we'll look forward to having you uh, for the full bottle. Are you rested and ready? I'm ready for it. All right. Have <laughs> thank a great you. week. Okay, bye-bye. All right, we're going to have a little break here, and uh, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. That was fun. <laughs> that was good. I'll mention that uh, a number of times throughout the night, too. Yeah. I'm going to be talking about graviola now. The graviola cover up and all that stuff. Now I get the title and said, You almost weren't on the air because you grabbed this microphone. I should do that over here. You're kidding me. I should be on this one? Yeah. This is the, this is the host. All right. It's input one in the board. Did, did uh, we get. You probably recovered that, right? I looked over and I said, Oh, thank you. to see. <laughs> Have a great week. Thank you. And thank you for my uh, carnitine. Yay! I, when I got them, I was like, I know. I'm psyched. I'm psyched. I'm psyched.
Yeah, yeah, Larry needs that kind of team. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah. Welcome back, and uh, that was really, uh, that's a remarkable uh, a remarkable moment or two of radio. I just uh, am so appreciative that uh, Catherine keeps my attention focused on some of these issues, because even when you're really uh, paying close attention to all the goings-on, it seems like uh, Washington has things happening uh, at the 11th hour on a Sunday night, uh, you know, they're, they're burning the uh, midnight candle to, to uh, see if they can't maneuver and manipulate down there. And you can't keep up with everything. So I'm really uh, appreciative of that, and hopefully you enjoyed that uh, little bit of information and will take it to heart. All right, time to uh, chat with you about another very interesting topic regarding natural medicine. Um, you know, the Amazon rainforest is no question about it, the most biodiverse place on planet Earth. Uh, to date, there are over 80,000 80, botanical species, 40% of which uh, make up world medicine at this point in time. So of the 80,000 botanical species that uh, have their place of origin in the Amazon rainforest, 40% of those make up our world medicine. So. Uh, clearly because of the various alkaloids and tannins and flavonoids and so many of the different antioxidants that we often talk about in this program. Uh, but, you know, not every, not every rainforest herb has been uh, brought to the public's attention. A lot of folks, of course, are aware of Pau Diarco. We certainly talk a great deal about Pau Diarco. Pau Diarco is a very, uh, very powerful rainforest herb that's uh, antifungal and it's anti-protozole, antibacterial, antiviral, et cetera. And uh, many people know about Uno, Uno de Gato, which is another uh, very uh, powerful natural medicinal uh, from the uh, Amazon rainforest. But very few people can really possibly keep track of the remarkable, remarkable natural herbal medicines that have come forth uh, from the Amazon rainforest. And tonight I'm going to be talking about uh, one that... Uh, actually, I just received an email from a friend of mine um, yesterday and sort of piqued my attention back. You know, several months ago, I was looking into uh, Amazon rainforest herbs and some of the studies that have been done on them. And I was reminded again just recently in that email that there's one herb in particular that really deserves an awful lot more attention. It's a remarkable, remarkable story. Uh, this one particular rainforest plant has been found to effectively target and kill malignant cells in 12 types of cancer, including colon, breast, prostate, lung, and pancreatic cancer. And the compounds in this particular plant uh, have been found to be up to 10,000 times stronger in slowing the growth of cancer cells than Adriamycin, which is a very commonly used chemotherapeutic drug. Uh, so again, you know, this is a very powerful, powerful natural uh, botanical medicine. But it has absolutely 
I mean, there are virtually no side effects. You know, so you know, usually when you're thinking about a very powerful herb in particular, much less a rainforest herb, the natural inclination is to uh, suspect that there's probably some nasty side effects because it must be awfully powerful. Uh, the earliest studies in this particular uh, herb were uh, conducted between 1941 and 1962. And then in 1976, plant screening a plant uh, screening program by the National Cancer Institute studied the leaves and the stem of this particular plant. And back in 76, it was first discovered at the National Cancer Institute that it showed profound active cytotoxicity against cancer cells. And uh, researchers have been following up on this research ever since. And the herb that we're talking about is graviola, G-R-A-V-I-O-L-A. -A. Now, many people refer to it mistakenly as the pawpaw, P-A-W-P-A-W, -P -A -W plant. And uh, there is a North American pawpaw plant, and many believe that graviola is actually the South American pawpaw plant, but that is inaccurate. It is not. The graviola plant has many of the similar properties that the pawpaw plant has. And both of them are very powerful alkaloids. And uh, both of them are very, very powerful in the face of cancer cells and uh, at killing cancer cells. But um, this particular substance, graviola, G-R-A-V-I-O-L-A, -A, is also called Anona muricata, rather. Anona muricata. A-N-N-O-N-A-M-U-R-I-C-A-T-A, -N -N -A -A, Anona muricata. And uh, it's a very, very remarkable herb. Uh, but just to uh, give you a little bit of a, of a background, there's actually a, an article called Cancer Treatment Cover-Up that I wanted to kind of share with you that was published by uh, Fred Fishburne. And uh, it goes on as follows. I told you about a plant that is 10,000 times more toxic to colon cancer cells than a common chemo drug lethal to 12 different kinds of malignant cells, especially those that cause lung, prostate, and breast cancers, safe enough that it protects healthy cells instead of killing them, doesn't cause extreme nausea, doesn't cause hair loss, doesn't make cancer patients drop huge amounts of weight, doesn't force any weaknesses or compromise human immunity, and uh, wouldn't you want to know about what that plant was? Do you, think, do you think, as he goes on, someone with cancer that you know would like to know about it? If I told you about a plant that was 10,000 times more toxic to colon cancer cells than chemotherapeutic drugs and lethal to 12 different kinds of malignant cells, you'd surely want to know what it was. And he goes on, well, the billion-dollar drug company nearly covered this one up. They did for seven years, but thanks to an employee with a heart, let the cat out of the bag. The reason that they never went public with their findings was because they could not find a way to make a synthetic version that worked, so they couldn't patent it. The, that, that kind of information that I'm about to reveal to you should never be covered up. The incredible plant from the Amazon is called graviola. But once again, I think you know the idea that uh, the pharmaceutical industry was trying very, very stringently for a number of years to use the graviola plant far at a pharmaceutical level to actually pharmaceutically grade it. And the research essentially found that uh, they were not able to make a viable synthetic version. Therefore, they couldn't patent it. Uh, so there was indeed a seven-year cover-up of this particular herb. What does it do? Uh, what it does is it blocks the ATP, adenosine triphosphate, or the production of fermentation that reduces the bioelectricity of cancer cells. And it triggers, therefore, apoptosis. In other words, we've talked many, many times over the air here about um, the work that Dr. Otto, Re uh, Otto Warburg did regarding cancer and how uh, cancer cells essentially thrive off the fermentation of sugar. And that uh, clearly, if there is going to be a medicine, a natural medicine or otherwise, that is going to interfere with the uh, replication, the spreading of cancer cells. And uh, if any natural medicine or otherwise is going to block the uh, ATP production or the energy production of cancer cells, 
it would have to interfere with the process of fermentation. Because again, fermentation, as we've said many times before, is what gives cancer cells their energy. Uh, Dr. Warburg won two Nobel Prizes in uh, He's done extensive cancer research over the years, and in his Nobel Prize work, he always says, the primary cause of cancer is the replacement of the respiration of oxygen in normal healthy body cells by fermentation of sugar. So what this particular plant does, what the graviola plant does, is it's, uh, it's very acetogenic, and it's very powerful acetogenic nature actually blocks the fermentation process for cancer cells. And again, reducing the electrical output of these cancer cells, which triggers apoptosis or cancer cell death. So uh, once again, you know, the cat is out of the bag right now. As uh, Fred Fishburne uh, put it, and I think he's absolutely correct about that, there's more conversation uh, that is presently going on. There's an awful lot of conversation just like this where people are starting to tap into the safety, the availability, the inexpensiveness. Um, Good Health Natural Foods actually has graviola on the shelves. Most people walk by it every day, and to think that it is potentially 10,000 times uh, more toxic to colon cancer cells than uh, most chemotherapeutic drugs. So the idea that it has the ability to kill 12 different kinds of malignant cells especially those that cause uh, lung, prostate, and breast cancers, uh, but it is safe enough to protect your healthy cells. And to know that it is on the shelves of Good Health Natural Foods right now, the product that I recommend is the NOW Now formula, uh, and it is $10, $10.19 for 100 caps at 500 milligrams. $10.00. In 19 cents. Remarkable. We have a lot more to talk about regarding graviola, but before we do that, it's the bottom of the hour. We have to take a little breather here, and we're going to bring Candida and stay wherever we are. Hello. How's it going? Good. You sound mellow. Feel mellow. So what's there? Did you get the email that I got? Yeah, was class and all that? No, I didn't. I wasn't so even tomorrow we're meeting with the lawyers. I'm currently active in consumers' rights to access dietary supplements, including good quality medical supplements for our industry. That's kind of exciting. Yeah, yeah. If I can open up a door, is there? Something good will happen. Yeah. If they're smart. Healthy and wealthy New England. Through the sharing of knowledge and enthusiasm for healthy Wow. We greatly look forward to developing and we have, I have no idea what I'm talking about. about. And we're excited for the world of knowledge that there is that we can share with you all. As we take this journey together, yeah, we need to change this commercial. Mm -hmm. Happy, and we, we need to change this commercial. I know, I know. <coughs> Hey, that looks like Candida on the other side of the table. What's going on, girl? Look what I have. <laughs> it's your favorite clippings. I love when the healthy clippings come out. Coupons for a natural way of life. The winter 2008 issue is out. You can find it at Good Health Natural Foods in Hanover and Quincy. And it is packed full of... Actually, now they started putting information in there also. A little couple articles, which I find very interesting. But lots of healthy clippings, dollar off, two dollars off. That's kind of like off. one of those clippings books with uh, good reading. With good reading. Yeah. Yes. I mean, they most books you just get the clippings. Sale. You don't. You, you either get the good reading or the clippings. That's but right. here you get good reading with clippings. With lots of information, like Amy's 20th anniversary. Don't you love their pizza? I don't know. I've never had it. <gasps> oh. It's so good. Spinach <laughs> and done. cheese and I'll pesto yeah. and roasted vegetables, <laughs> mushrooms and olives. It's really good. Your daughter would love it, actually. I'm sure there's a whole lot of people out there in the listening audience that enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But it's a good, nice coupon book. It's got the top, you know, some of the top brands, mm -hmm. Back to Nature, Boca. They make all those natural... The Boca burgers, etc. Boca et burgers. Yeah. And yes, the Tof... tof 
Wow, boy. Wow, wow, what do you... <laughs> Tofurky. Tofurky. You want to be thinking of... Uh, you want to think of the... amount. If you could uh, somehow breed tofu with turkey, you'd have a tofurky. Yeah. They're offering lots of discounts on the organic maple syrup, and they have ancient secret nasal cleansing pots on sale. Hmm. Little netty clears out the... Um, sinuses. Sinuses, which is all natural. So it's good. I encourage folks to go down and pick up their coupons for a natural way of life. Read some of the nice articles in there. Pacific Natural Foods, they make all those great broths, vegetable broths, yes, and, and Pacific, chicken broths. They also make um, a number of different uh, dairy, um, soy-type dairy products and mm. rice-type dairy products. It's always all organic, and they don't use any pesticides or inject their animals with any hormones. Mm -hmm. Right. So go down and check out um, the coupons. Absolutely, and you've got some. There's some supplement sales you've got there as well, huh? Oh yes. You better get down and get these inexpensive supplements, folks, before the uh, be, before the next legislative uh, boondoggle that actually tries to take uh, all your vitamins off the right? shelves. Here, oh so. my goodness. Twin Lab magnesium caps, six dollars and fifty cents for four hundred. Oh wow. Um, hundred caps, four hundred milligrams. Then you have the Nature Secret 15-Day Diet and Cleanse, a 60 count, which is only $7.99. Very good. A lot of cleansing stuff. I thought that was for the uh, okay in the winter to do stuff like that. Well, the that body cleanse. most opportune time to do a detox or a cleanse is spring. The springtime. Yeah, it is. And you're going to be writing an article on healthy living. I am? Oh, yes, I am. That's right. Don't forget. I'm just kidding. DHA Formula, the Nordic Naturals, which is a great brand, 2249, originally 2695. It's that DHA that you talk about. That for mood support in the wintertime? DHA is decazohexanoic acid, and it is indeed. It's a great natural antidepressant for those folks who uh, struggle with seasonal affective disorder. A great way to go. Yep, see, I listen to your shows. Yes, you do. I've you. learned so much. <laughs> There will be a quiz uh, <laughs> yeah. at, n at 9 o'clock this evening. Speaking of which, we have to talk a little bit about your program, mm -hmm. but first why don't you tell folks where Good Health Natural Health Foods is located. Good Health Natural Foods is at two convenient locations, 1637 Hancock Street in Quincy. You can dial them up at 617-773-4925. Maybe it's a little more convenient for you to catch up with them down in Hanover, 219 Columbia Road, 781-826-0808. For all things natural, good health, natural foods. That's right. So you're going to be um, Wednesday nights? Wednesday nights. We had our first I open house. It, it was very nice. About 40 people. Yep. Up. Yep. And we now are we going to do one of those again? We're going to do a second open house coming the, this coming Wednesday. A lot of folks called you and said, I couldn't make it at the last minute. Can, I know. Can we get a reprieve? So I think we're going to do that again this, uh, this coming Wednesday. So... For the classes that we've put together, we really worked hard for these class programs, and I think so many people have really uh, come to enjoy these mm -hmm. classes. And people are learning a great deal. There's a lot of uh, allied professionals, a lot of massage therapists, people like that, that have come in and enjoyed uh, learning about muscle testing mm -hmm. and learning about nutrition uh, through through the system that I've uh, developed. But you know, I think there's all kinds of folks that just like dropping into these classes. Great for anybody. Oh, yeah. And you don't have to take the whole program. You don't have to take the whole program. Which so, is great. You know, you may want to come. We have an open house this coming Wednesday again. It'll be at 7 o'clock. And if anybody's... At the Coastal Church. And if you're going to come, email me because I will send directions, which is one of the reasons why we're doing right. a retake. Right, 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 right. So it's we want to get everybody get. settled in, in into finding it, et cetera. So uh, you can contact Candida at... 781-834-2728. This class is important in particular because it's the art of drugless intervention right. and you're showing folks like what they could do instead of going on all those prescription drugs. We're gonna the talk, last class was, right. was great. We're going to talk a great deal about the natural supplements that we often talk about, like we're talking about this evening, uh, graviola, et cetera, et cetera. We're going to talk about a number of natural applications. Uh, and their medicinal purposes. And their medicinal purposes and a lot of the research and studies behind these things and that... Uh, there's some great, great natural medicines that uh, people can learn how to apply in their home, with their families, their loved ones, in their work environments if they are allied health professionals. So it's going to be a great class. And again, it costs you what? Nothing. Absolutely zippity-doo-dah. So, Priceless. Uh, 
So just leave your wallet at home and come on down. Right. What's a commercial? You learn this priceless. Priceless. <laughs> Absolutely right. And if you decide you like what's going on and mm -hmm. uh, you take a curriculum home and you start to warm up to the whole idea of, oh, there's a class I'd like to take in March or whatever, you can pick and choose because we're going to do this kind of smorgasbord style. Mm -hmm. People want to pick this class, this class, and this class. They can do that. Absolutely. No pesticides, no hormonal <laughs> smorgasbord of good stuff. Absolutely. No fatty foods. <laughs> no fatty foods. <laughs> All right, and uh, we look forward to that experience. Once again, 781-834-2728 if you're interested in finding out more about the classes and about the upcoming open house this Wednesday, and uh, you can get yourself uh, tuned in to great possibilities. Mm. You can also check out the whole curriculum on Mark's website, which is maxhealing.com, or on healthylivingvideo.com. Absolutely. And uh, what else can they look at on that website? They can actually <gasps> see, see <ya>. this, <laughs> because as we've said many times before, we've begun the process of podcasting here the past several months. So if uh, people are interested in seeing the Natural Health and Healing Show, you can watch it. How would you do that? You go to our website, www.maxhealing.com. Yeah, we hope you join us. Great stuff. All right, have a hey, good night. Hey, thank you so much. Yes. Have a great night. All right. And of course, ever at the ready, that is Larry Nelson. Larry Nelson, uh, amazing, amazing how how uh, Larry spins the oldies all week long here at WATD, and good at it he is. Okay, back on point here. We've been talking with you this evening here on the Natural Health and Healing Show about graviola, G-R-A-V-I-O-L-A, and uh, it's. Um, it's remarkable that so few people really know about it, and uh, it's a mystery how well covered up it, it has been and uh, amazing that it has been. Various parts of the graviola tree, including the bark, the leaves, the roots, the fruit, the fruit seeds, have all been used uh, for hundreds and hundreds of years uh, by the native Indians in South America to treat a variety of ailments uh, from heart disease, asthma, liver problems, arthritis, etc., and uh, there are a number of co companies uh, that actually, as we said, in the 40s, in the 50s, in the 60s, in the 70s, who were researching it because, again, a good 40% uh, of the 80,000 botanical species uh, from the rainforest, the Amazon rainforest, have really ultimately um, become, not, have become the pharmaceutical drugs that we are accustomed to uh, hearing about, reading about every day in our culture. So, um, you know, this is no different. And as we said earlier, the companies that really got close to patenting Graviola uh, came very close, but they had a huge problem because it is completely natural and they were unable to find a synthetic version of same. Therefore, they couldn't, under federal law, patent it. Because the way that works is pharmaceutical industries will go down to the Amazon and uh, they'll research a number of different plants, etc., and they'll ultimately study these plants and uh, research them and try to synth synthetically uh, reproduce these plants. Uh, otherwise, under federal law, they are not patentable. So there's no way to make serious profits from something that isn't patentable. Uh, so as we said, the National Cancer Institute, the, the first studies were performed in the 1940s. And the National Cancer Institute performed the first scientific research in 1976. And right away, the results showed that graviola's leaves and stems were the specific uh, parts of the plant that were very effective at attacking and destroying malignant cells. And, uh, you know, inexplicably, the results were published in, t in an internal report, uh, but never, ever released to the public. There's a, a publication called the Journal of Natural Products, and um, actually, I've published a number of studies, a number of reports that have been published in the Journal of Natural Products uh, in my New England Cable News segment. So I know that the Journal of Natural Products is actually a very uh, highly esteemed uh, scientific publication. But uh, in 1976, 
Graviola was first published in the Journal of Natural Products following a study that was actually done at a Catholic university stating that the uh, one chemical compound specifically in Graviola, one of the many uh, chemical compounds, was specifically cited to selectively kill colon cancer cells, as we said, 10,000 times more potently than, than adriamycin. Um, and, you know, when you look at the technical information, there are a remarkable uh, number of very powerful antioxidants in graviola. Uh, there's the, ano, the anohexosin, um, ammoniosin, there's a number of javorosin, uh, mantanosin. Uh, these are all very, very potent, potent. There's about 40 or 50 different antioxidants that are clustered uh, in the leaves, the stems, the fruits, the seeds of graviola. And so, you know, I think the key here is is that uh, when we look at the different foods and a lot of the different food research and a lot of the different herb research out there, we find that these antioxidants are the real key. As we said repeatedly, they're alkaloids, and these alkaloids actually help the process of alkalizing, of triggering bile in the body, etc. So these are really the key components um, that actually help to um, neutralize these can these very potent cancer cells. And uh, you know, I think that if folks are interested in uh, in learning more about graviola, I'd encourage you to do some searching on it. Uh, there's one site called CureZone, C-U-R-E-Z-O-N-E dot com. Uh, there's another one called www.cancertutor.com. And again, these are various sites that are, are educational sites for cancer patients who are trying to learn more about uh, options, etc., alternatives. But again, you know, as we said earlier, what happens with the graviola plant is the alkaloids in the graviola actually neutralize the presence of fermentation at the ATP or adenosine triphosphate level, and at the energy of the cell level. And when that cell level um, presence of energy from fermentation drops to a critical level, the cell basically falls apart. And the residual pieces of the dead cancer cell uh, are called lysing, L-Y-S-I-N-G, lysing, uh, which is similar to apoptosis, where the cells basically die, they fall apart, and then part of the lysing process is literally eaten or uh, you, you probably uh, have heard of phagocytosis. And that's a process where healthy cells will then basically eat up, uh, gobble up. You know, you have these, these phagocytes, these important immune cells that really are like Pac-Man cells in your body that at that point will then just consume these leftover pieces of what were once viable cancer cells. Um, so this process really is very, very critical to folks who uh, might want to study more regarding uh, available safe options. And that's the thing that we keep talking about here is that graviola is safe. There are virtually zero side effects here. In most cases when you're dealing, um, I even tell my patients, you know, when you talk about something like, something as simple as a food like garlic, you know, the things like the allicin that's in garlic, which is a very powerful antioxidant, it's what kind of makes it taste so pungent and so strong. It's also the very thing in garlic that also makes it potentially allergenic. So the real key here is whenever you have any medicinal agent in a natural food or an herbal product, the good news is the medicinal agent is very powerful. The bad news is that it can be kind of rough on your system as well. So it may kill certain uh, bacteria or viruses or, or fungal forms and, and protozoal forms, and that's great, obviously. But because it is so pungent or astringent and has this, this potency, this power to it, it also is very, very difficult and very stressful sometimes for the immune system to continually be deluged with it and the digestive system to have to manage it which is one of the reasons that I tell people that, you know, the good thing about garlic that we all know about it is it's a very medicinal food. Well, that's what's that's exactly what the bad thing is about it as well. And for people to use garlic every single day, day in and day out, is really not the greatest thing. 
it's difficult to manage digestively and it will create intolerances. It will create allergies, food allergies, food intolerances. So again, all the more remarkable when we think about graviolas having these 40 or 50 very potent, very powerful alkaloids, uh, flavonoids and tannins, and somehow, some way, uh, study after study continues to turn up the evidence that there are virtually zero side effects with it. So as tough as it is on cancer cells, and that means it must be pretty tough stuff, uh, it is virtually side effect free and very, very easy on the immune system and the digestive system. Once again, we're talking about graviola, G-R-A-V-I-O-L-A, -A, graviola. And uh, really important information when you consider that we're losing 690 thousand Americans a year to cancer. The number's growing, and unfortunately we're spending three trillion dollars a year on treatments. And uh, back in 1972, uh, then President Richard Nixon declared war on cancer, and uh, needless to say, we are not winning that war in the fashion that we are presently waging that war. So this is very important news for those folks, and again, especially considering that the NOW company, now brand, manufactures graviola for $10.19. Uh, for 100 capsules at 500 milligrams, I'd recommend two a day on an empty stomach. And again, most people might have the question, is this only for cancer patients? Well, no, you may have heard me say earlier, it's antifungal, uh, it's antibacterial, it's, it's antiprotozoal, it's one of those classic rainforest herbs. And as we pointed out earlier, it's been used uh, for centuries by medicine men and native Indians in South America uh, for its bark, its leaves, its roots, its fruits, its fruit seeds, etc. Uh, and its ability to support heart disease, asthma, liver problems, arthritis, inflammatory disease, um, yeast infections, etc., etc. So. It's a remarkable, remarkable herb, and what a price, 10 bucks. <laughs> you know. So I would say two a day just uh, for people who are suffering from any of those ailments and uh, who you know, may want to support uh, their cancer uh, effort, their anti-cancer effort, I should say. But again, this is one rainforest plant that has been found to effectively target and kill malignant cells in 12 types of cancer, including colon breast, prostate, lung, and pancreatic cancer. We're going to take a little short break. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned. This segment is being sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods. Good Health is a well-established organic specialty food market, as well as a vitamin and sports nutrition shop. Good Health is a family-owned business passionately committed to giving back to the neighborhoods of Boston and the South Shore. The Maturos and the entire Good Health family continue to make an indelible impact on the communities they serve. There are currently two extraordinary stores, 1627 Hancock Street, Quincy, Mass., and 219 Columbia Road, Route 53 in Hanover, Mass. For everything natural, organic, and wheat or gluten-free, there's Good Health Natural Foods, open seven days a week. In Quincy, 617-773-4925, and Hanover, 781-826-4925. 0808. That's good health, natural foods. All righty, welcome back in. And uh, boy, this hour goes by very, very swiftly. And I thank you for joining me this evening. And uh, hopefully, you've picked up a couple little uh, goodies here. Let's please not forget that uh, Catherine Foley is. Uh, she pointed out early, very important to get involved and in, take action regarding your opposition, if indeed you do have opposition. I couldn't, ima I couldn't imagine why you wouldn't, to protect your access to the supplement, the food supplement, DHEA. There, there is a bill to restrict, actually two bills, to restrict access to safe, helpful supplementation with DHEA, both in the Senate. And uh, she advises that we do a little logging on to naturalproductsassociation.org and uh, voice your opinion. Let the world know that you are against, if indeed you are, and again, why wouldn't you be, 
uh, S762 and S2470. That's naturalproductsassociation.org, and those are bills S762 and S2470. Uh, because once again, give them an inch, they'll take a mile. That's how it works. So you got to shut them down now, folks. And uh, again, back to uh, what we're talking about here this evening. We're talking about a remarkable herb, something that I really hope you look into, do a little research on, Anona muricata, or you might know it simply as graviola. I know some folks have misidentified it as the South American pawpaw plant. It's not really that. It's called the cousin of the pawpaw plant. Very similar, but not quite the same animal. Uh, very acetogenic. It has a really powerful, powerful array of antioxidants and uh, phytonutrients that are anti-cancer-like. There's one in particular, if you want to do some interesting research, called Bulactin, B-U-L-L-A-C-T-I-N, B-U-L-L-A-C-T-I-N. Bulactin is very powerful. Again, what does it do? It blocks the ATP, the adenosine triphosphate, or fermentation production, reduces the electrical life force of cancer cells and uh, really renders them virtually incapable of reproduction, or I should say replication, and uh, re triggers apoptosis or cancer cell death. Recent study, the most recent study, if, you're, uh, if you check out the uh, Health Sciences Institute, uh, Health Sciences Institute has uh, completed a recent publication about a study uh, at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana, uh, which recently found that the leaves from the graviola tree killed cancer cells among six human cell lines and were especially effective against prostate, pancreatic, and lung cancers. And again, there is no more aggressive cancer than pancreatic cancer. So that's Purdue University. You can do some searching on that if you, if you will. Uh, again, the leaves of the graviola tree killing cancer cells in six human cell lines. So uh, you, you can, once again, uh, pick up graviola and uh, if, do your research first. I wouldn't ask anybody to, to just uh, head down and start taking, uh, taking uh, supplements from health or just uh, sight unseen and uh, without enough information to uh, satisfy your uh, your in inclination to learn more about this particular supplement, and I would encourage you to do that. But uh, plenty of information out there, and again, worth looking at when you consider that it's been identified as 10,000 times more toxic to colon cancer cells than, than adriamycin, and uh, lethal to 12 different kinds of malignant cells. And again, the Purdue study finding that it uh, killed cancer cells among six human cell lines. And when you consider it's uh, virtually zero side effects, and uh, $10.19 for 100 uh, capsules. You know, so what is it, about uh, something like a $5 a month it's going to cost you if you take two of those a day? Not an expensive medicine. And again, it's uh, very protective and supportive of the immune system. And uh, there have been over 20 different lab studies uh, that have actually been per uh, performed at Purdue University, National Cancer Institute, et cetera, as far back as 1941, the very first studies, as we said earlier, and a little bit of a cover-up there involved in 1976. There was a period of seven years, from 76 to 83, where the uh, uh, one pharmaceutical company really did what it could to basically keep the information from uh, most of the news funnels out there and therefore from the general public at large uh, because uh, there is obviously an awful lot to be gained from a substance, a natural substance, such as graviola. So anyway, we've brought it to your attention. I encourage you to do some searching, do some research, as I always uh, like to do on Sunday nights, and uh, take a peek at it, and then uh, get down to good health foods, uh, good health natural foods, and uh, take a look at the NOW brand, because once again, $10.19 can't be beat. Uh, once again, as we pointed out earlier, we have class coming up uh, this Wednesday. And I know folks are going to want to learn how to use those supplements, and uh, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. The latest information regarding food supplements, very similar to what you heard this evening and a lot more. I always try to kind of keep an edge on the most recent studies and research regarding 
food grade and uh, natural medicines and their applications and uh, ways that you might be able to better strategize your health, your family's health, etc. So if you're interested in that kind of topic, you might want to call Candide at 781-834-2728, 781-834-2728. And as we said earlier, if you're interested in uh, checking out either the New England cable news segments that I do entitled You Are What You Eat or... Uh, catching a little bit of a visual aspect of this particular broadcast, the Natural Health and Healing Show, you can do that right on our website, and that's www.maxhealing.com. Simple enough. And, of course, uh, you know what to stay tuned for. we got Tomorrow's Dreams, Bobby, Steve, and the whole crew coming in here in just a few minutes. Great music. Uh, the thing I love about the show, of course, is it's original music and it's local music, and you never get to hear that kind of stuff uh, because you're always getting the, uh, you know, the highly programmed commercial version of music just about everywhere you tune in these days. So uh, that's always a great broadcast. All right, and uh, once again, we thank everybody for listening this evening, and we thank everybody for uh, tuning in each and every Sunday here on the Natural Health and Healing Show, and uh, only heard, of course, on WATD, you know that, 95.9 FM. So until next Sunday at 8 o'clock here on WATD, this is Mark Mincola reminding you, please, be wise, be aware, be well. Make it a healthy week. Good night. Hey, how are you doing? How are you? <laughs> Good. How's it going? Good. Hello. Hello, guys. Hello. Hey, thank you for that CD. It's great. Oh, thanks for listening. Fantastic. You kidding? It's great. Thank you. She is great. Yeah, no kidding.